A very pleasant good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Stone. February 21st, 1965 was a Sunday. And um, that day, I would have been about eight years old. But Sunday, February 21st, 1965 was the day when they assassinated Malcolm X. Now I was an eight-year-old, I didn't even hear the name Malcolm X. Not until I was about 23 years old, I went to the United States of America. I remember it quite clearly, it was August 15, 1980. And when I got there, I suddenly found out that I was a black man living in the United States of America. Because as you know, growing up in Jamaica, going to school with the Indians and so on, it doesn't really matter. I didn't see color then. And ladies and gentlemen, I started to learn about myself, who I am. Why are we being so repudiated? Why are we being so hated? Why are we seems to be at the bottom of the ladder as black people? Then I start to do my research, Martin Luther King. Yo, I love the way Martin Luther King speak. I wanted to be like Martin Luther King. Then I read about Nelson Mandela, Kwame Nkrumah, and all the other freedom fighters, Steve Bantubiko. And then guess what? A friend of mine, he was at work at Jetro Cash and Carrier, I'll never forget. And he said, you've heard about Martin Luther King, but you never heard about Malcolm X? I said, no, I never heard about Malcolm X. And he started to teach me about Malcolm X. And he said, Claude, you think Martin Luther King can really speak? I said, yeah, he's the greatest. He says, okay, but I can tell you this. Malcolm X is the greatest. I said, what do you mean? He says, Malcolm X can speak to people that went to university, people on the same level as him and people below him. I said, but so can Martin Luther King. He said, no, Martin Luther King is Christian and he could speak to people in high places, but the common person, the common street person, the drug addict, those who have been down on their luck, it takes only one man to bring that sense of responsibility, and that is Malcolm X. And I started to research Malcolm X. Malcolm X was born Malcolm Little, blah, blah, blah. His father was a member of the UNIA and blah, 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 blah. And I started to learn about this great man. And ladies and gentlemen, after I found out about how great Malcolm X is, I get to understand that all these great people, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Stokely Carmichael, W. E. B. Du Bois, Patrice Lumumba, Kwame Nkrumah, Steve Bantubiko, Nelson Mandela, they were all inspired by the right honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. What a man, what a man. So ladies and gentlemen, that is why I love Malcolm X so much because he gave Marcus Garvey his credit. He applauded him as a genius, as an immortal. So today, February 21st, 2022, when they assassinated this great man many years ago, I just want the world to know that I learned a lot from Malcolm X. And I want to say on this day, thank you, Malcolm. Thank you so much for the teaching. I was only eight years old when you were murdered, but you have taught me well. You have taught me how to live straight, how to walk upright, how to walk with dignity, how to love myself. Who taught you how to hate yourself? You give me that sense of pride and dignity. And I want to say thank you so much, Malcolm X. Thank you so much. Thank you for the shining glory that you say would exist for us if we only think straight. Don't be that house slave. Think like the fear slave who wants to be free at all times. Malik Hel Shabazz, born Malcolm Little, became the great Malcolm X. Thank you so much. And to his families and to his daughters, I salute you for 
loan in us, your Father. Just a little time that he had with us. He, he gave us, he was, he was only 39 years old when they murdered him. 39 years old, he was so much more of Malcolm. Trust me, but thank you for the little that you have given us. Malcolm, thank you so much, sir. You came, you saw, and you were still conquering through your cause. Long live the memory of Malik El Shabazz, a.k.a. Malcolm X. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please note the time to do so. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. We'll never forget you, Malcolm X.